Stop number one, the visitor centre. The name Preston Grange comes from the medieval village of Preston or from Priest's Town. A grange was a farm belonging to a religious house. Today the industries of Preston Grange are silent. But once this compact area was the hub of a dynamic, successful and integrated industrial complex. And indeed, much of its story lies at the core of Scotland's industrial revolution. The story of coal mining alone stretches back almost a thousand years when coal was used to boil seawater in great metal salt pans. Salt and coal were soon being traded along the coast. The harbour enabled easy export and access to exotic raw materials. By the 19th century, mining supported not just salt making, but also the manufacture of bricks, clay pipes, soap, fine pottery, chemicals, beers and even glass in a complex of integrated industries around Preston Grange. The last brick making operations closed in the 1970s and since 1993 the site has been in the care of East Lothian Council Museum Service. This tour will guide you around what is a fascinating and unique industrial site. The Cistercian monks of New Battle Abbey in Midlothian were probably the first owners of Preston Grange to work coal on a large scale. The earliest record of this goes back to 1194. It was they who established the harbour opposite Preston Grange to transport their coal. At that time, and for several centuries after, the vast majority of common people used not coal but peat or wood for fuel. Only the rich had stone hearths and chimneys needed for a coal fire. There were two qualities of coal available. One burned well but wasn't so easy to get out of the ground. This better quality of coal was much sought after and the diggings around Preston Grange supplied royal palaces in Edinburgh and Linlithgow. The other kind was known as stinking sea coal. It was found at outcrops along the shore. It had a high sulphur content and released the most nauseating smells when burnt. Actually, stinking sea coal was so bad its use was banned by law. You have now reached the end of this track. Please pause your player until you reach your next stop.